Welcome to Massive! We're playing God of War Ascension and this is part 21 of our walkthrough series on this really fantastic video game. Just opening the green chest and we're about to crawl in between the toes of Apollo. Which, quite, quite frankly, does not paint a very good metal picture for me, even though this is just a statue. Wow, that gave me vertigo for some reason. So what's up here? Boss fight? No. His lantern. Oh shit, look at this! We got an elephant star. Oh fuck, he just stabbed that guy with his tusks. And he's got a weapon this time. Now, uh, elephant tars are generally considered more dangerous without the weapon because their uh, close range attacks are absolutely catastrophic to Kratos. But let's see how we fare it without it. Oh, sh shit. I mean, when he has one. Let's see how we fare when he has a weapon with him. We use our Soul of Hades here at first. Now, he has a few basic attacks, as with uh, most monsters. He has his basic sweeping attack. He can be uh, stunned. He also has his... Um, area of effect attack where he stomps the ground. He can get damage from a radius there. But I'd say the most important thing to note by far is... There it is. There's the area of effect attack. The most important thing to note by far is the fact that uh, he can really string his attacks together. If he locks you in, watch out! Because he'll just keep, uh, he'll just keep wailing on you non-stop and it's extremely difficult to break out of that surprisingly uh, surprisingly enough he doesn't seem to have a charge attack when he's got his club I remember him having a charge attack uh, without it but oh fuck he threw it away okay now we got the full experience let's see how his moves change now you're gonna do your best to keep your distance. Basically, just, uh, you know, run and gun, so to speak. Well, in this case, you don't have a gun, so just hit him and then run away. Preferably dodge away. It's faster. You wanna stick to, uh, combos with him. Some enemies, it works to just, uh, well on him with your basic uh, heavy or light attacks, but not so much in this case. As you can see, his range is very limited. But he makes up for it, more than makes up for it, in power. And it's time for the uh, fatality. Watch out, because this is an interactive fatality. You gotta stab him in his, uh, in his cranium and dodge his fist attacks. Oh god, this is one of the most brutal fatalities in the game, in my opinion. Go oh, watch, you, you fucking split his head open, and then his brain pops out. Which designates that he's actually fairly intelligent. And there's the head of Apollo. It's time to move on. The elephant tar is, so far, my favorite enemy in the game, aside from the snake lady with the breasts, because she's just sexy. <laughs> But, oh, is that the way I'm supposed to go? Um, yeah. If you do own God of War Ascension, or when you do own it, uh, make sure to watch the extra video. I believe it's called uh, Deconstruction of a Warrior, something like that. It's the developers of the game talking about the making of Elephant Tar. It also gives you a nice process, or in-depth look on the process of creating a character that goes into a game as big as God of War is. And as triple A title of a series, God of War has come to be. Those guys have a lot of fun, and they do a really damn good job of it, too. Well, they're really good at their job, I should say. Look at that. He can just crush through iron like it's, I don't know, Laffy Taffy. Alright, I don't mind if I do, I will pick up that shield. Now, 
Where are we supposed to go here? Okay, I can use my chain to pull that. Looks like I can... Yep, I can grab onto that. Nice. Now we're at the other side. Do some stealth beyond this, and... Jump onto the cog. My, yep, I'm heavy enough to, uh... Oh, shit. It's an insect with breasts! Let's see if we can keep up a steady barrage as we did in a previous part of this walkthrough series. I hate these things right here. See that guy? You suck. Fucking, what are they called? Hydrogalists? Or something like that? Oh, he has a lightning uh, attack. That's new. Usually they have fire. I wonder if there's one with ice and soul attack to match all four elements that uh, Kratos himself can possess. He's just not going down. He's pretty powerful. I hope that all these egg paws on the ground are not him. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! He can rip him in half using his tail! I've never seen a fatality with one of those uh, flying dragon things. This is a pretty cool fatality. Now that makes me wonder if there's a fatality for every enemy in the game. That would be pretty cool if there were. But it seems like some of these fatalities are repeated. Like, uh, the insect fatality looks like it was taken from the goats. And the goats have the same fatality as the insect people. So, some of it is reused, but, you know, how can it not be? This is a massive game. Shit, what are we gonna do? Oh, fuck! Just stab her through the chest, right between the breasts, with her own... whatever the hell that's called. Oh, fuck! Kratos, no! That's a clever attack, though. Oh, shit. Can I just grab onto these guys and kill them right away? No, I can't. It takes time. One, two, three, and... Breakdown! Cool. Launch out chains of Zeus. Zeus is lightning power. Although I do prefer how the lightning looked in Metal Gear Rising Vengeance. But, you know, that game was all about lightning, so you can't blame that. Oh, on God of War Ascension. Puzzle time. Hmm. Well, you know what? I think I'm gonna split this video up just for ease of, uh, ease of use. You know, for the guys that are searching. How do I figure out this puzzle? They don't have to sort through all the combat. But, thank you guys for watching this, uh, part 21 in our God of War Ascension video walkthrough series. Uh, I appreciate any likes you can give if you enjoy this, uh, enjoy this video. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more God of War Ascension. And we've got more games coming up, including Bioshock Infinite, which I'm looking forward to. And also, uh... Injustice, gods among us. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more gaming content. And uh, like this video if you did. We'll see you next time.